Jennifer. Hi, Joe. We didn't do our intro. I know. We're just doing the room tour. Not much of a room. <laughs> no, it's it's really small. So we are at the Palmer House in Chicago, Illinois, on Monroe, Monroe. Street. Yeah. And the hotel itself is a historic. I think it's a historic landmark. Yes. And it's very bougie and very beautiful, but the rooms are very tiny. And the Palmer House is owned by Hilton. Yes. So, so I mean, this is. I think this is smaller than a value resort room at Disney. Yes. It's pretty tiny. It's pretty tiny. The bathroom is nicer, but the room itself, I think, is smaller. Okay, let's do a quick tour. Okay. So, here's the door. You come in. Here's a fridge with the booze. Here's another fridge under here. There's a dresser. There's TV. a TV. There's an ice bucket. There's a lamp. There's a phone. There's the bed. Over here, we have Jen's suitcase with her Tiki umbrella, tiki 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 room umbrella. There's a picture. There's a closet. We don't need to show you what's in the closet. There's Joe. There's a desk. There's a nightstand. There's a lamp. There's the toilet. There's the bathroom. It is a nice bathroom. It's a good sized bathroom. I like the wallpaper. Mm, yeah, wallpaper's kind of cool. There's a tub. There's verbena and lavender. Oh, well, that looks pretty cool. Just notice that picture. So I guess the highlight of the room is the bathroom. Hmm. And then, look, you can see Jen and Joe. And hopefully this bed is comfortable. I mean, it's a Hilton bed. It should be decent. It looks comfortable. I was gonna say, it's a mattress, duh. <laughs> Really? It's a mattress? That's a mattress? I never would have guessed. I mean, it feels pretty plush. Oh, look, there's a stain. Oh, no, that's disgusting. No, look, I'm serious. Do you see it? It's like a clear stain. That's never good. Hmm. Yikes. Oh, well, just pretend you didn't see it. So anyway, hmm. we hope you enjoyed our room tour. <laughs> it was brief. <laughs> Well, there's not a lot to show. I mean, we are in downtown Chicago. You're not going to have big, huge rooms unless you stay at the Hard Rock and you have a suite. True, we did that. Yes, we have done that. So that's it. Unfortunately, the room tour is brief because it's a small room. It's a very small room. It's nice though. It's it fine. Is. Hopefully it's decorated the, nicely. The bed will be comfortable. Um, overall, Palmer House, it, it's been fine so far. Um, service at the bar, kind of meh drink yeah you know so it didn't even record it um but you know we're here we had a nice evening with everything that we did just right across the street well not right across the street but just a block away you have michigan avenue and millennium park and the bean and all of that good stuff so definitely good times so def um if you're in chicago if you want just a weekend away this might be something kind of fun to do mm -hmm. um hotel itself is expensive but it's chicago Parking overnight is $52 unless you valet it, then and it's, it's 75 70. Yeah. 75 So. That's insane. Yeah, just for parking. But, again, it's Chicago. Uh, so that's just keep like, that in mind. That's like 12 Grande Starbucks drinks. I guess if you want to compare it, sure.
Okay, so we just wanted to give you guys some final thoughts on the Palmer House in Chicago in case you wanted to stay there. Um, it is one of the top ranked hotels in downtown Chicago. Very historic. It's very been historic. There a long time. Very luxurious. And we ended up not having to pay for the room. The room has been comped because, not because they did something special for us, which it was very nice of them to comp the room for us, but they did it because um, when we got back to our room, we noticed we did not have a TV remote. So being technologically challenged, I called the front desk because there was also an iPad in the room, a tablet. So I thought, oh, maybe somehow you can program the TV on the tablet and I'm just not getting it. So I called the front desk and they're like, no, you should have a remote in your room. Can we bring one up? I'm like, no, it's it's 9.15 <laughs> and we're tired and we're going to bed. Yep, it was a Thursday night in downtown Chicago and we went to bed early. Well, you know, I had been up since 3.45, so I'm going to use that as an excuse, but... <laughs> so then um, the second thing, I went to take a shower and I couldn't get the shower head to turn on. So Joe actually had to come into the shower to try to figure out why the shower wasn't turning on. And when I had first turned on the water in the bathroom, in the shower, it came out brown. Brown. So I addressed that with the front desk. And then the sink in our bathroom wouldn't drain. It literally took 10 minutes to drain the water from brushing my teeth. So I told them about that. And then our refrigerator was broken in the room too. So I brought... The, all that to the attention of the woman I spoke to at the front desk. I think her name was Jenna. And I said, this is just not what we expect from Hilton. It's way below the Hilton standards because the Palmer House is owned by Hilton. And immediately she said, we will comp the room tonight. And I said, oh, well, we're only staying one night. She's like, nope, we're going to comp the room for you. Yeah. So that was yeah. greatly appreciated. Would we stay there again? We talked about it and we probably would just because the location is so great. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's within walking distance of everything. Yeah, it's I right mean, on, so much. It's on Monroe and basically between Wabash and Michigan Avenue. Mm -hmm. So you go out on the Mon Monroe side. You can go either way, Wabash. Mm -hmm. There's Miller's Pub, which we went there for lunch. That's a separate video we did on Miller's Pub. Fantastic, by the way. Yeah, make um, sure you watch that video when we post yeah, it. Because Miller's if Pub you're looking for somewhere excellent. to eat yeah, in Chicago, it was fabulous. Yes. Uh, going, you know, up to Michigan Avenue, right across the street, there's Millennium Park. And I did a little bit there, which I'm including here, but Millennium Park is really lovely. Very, very nice, um, you know, with the bean mm -hmm. and uh, it just, yeah, it, there's a lot to do in that area. Uh, so definitely w within walking distance of the theater district and, uh, yeah, so there's a lot to do. So the fact that I didn't even have to say um, we need to be compensated in some way, yeah. we need to have a credit, mm -hmm. it was right away, we're going to comp your room. Yeah. It's it's like this shouldn't have happened. We're so sorry. We are taking care of you. Yeah. And that's the kind of service that you expect from a high-end hotel. Or high-end anything, really. Yeah. I mean, it's just... Everything is so feel, expensive. Yeah, right. Exactly. So anyway, um, so overall, it was it was fine. We had a nice night. It was night. clean. It's a beautiful historic hotel. We would definitely stay there again. Um, it is on the pricier side, for those of you who do want well, to know. Yeah, but... I, I mean, mean, but it's location, location, right. location. And it's downtown and Chicago. Right. Yeah, and mean, everything has gone up. So, yeah, yeah. yes, give it a try. Um, I would also recommend the Drake. Haven't stayed there in a while, but great hotel. Um, and what was the other one we wanted to try to stay at in the future uh, that we passed on Michigan Avenue? Oh, the uh, Intercontinental? Yes, yeah. I would love to look up yeah. how much it is to stay in there. Yeah, that one's been there for a long time. That it, goes, it's bougie. That goes way back, way, yeah. way, way, way back in the way, way back machine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's In my right. memory, Joe and I actually went to a Doctor Who thing there many, many years ago. And is yes. it as bougie as it looks on the outside? I don't I don't remember. That was so long ago. Like, it was literally 40 years like, ago. Like, it's literally, so. like, right there by Neiman Marcus oh, and right Burberry. On, yeah, right and on, yeah. Magnificent Mile. Yeah, I mean. Michigan Avenue. It's, it's yeah. probably some coin. Yeah, probably. But that would but, be on my wish list. Yeah, so that's a different video for a different time. Yeah, but, but anyway, I'm, we just I'm, wanted to wrap up the Palmer House because we felt we didn't do that. trying to remember who did we see there. If we went to the Intercontinental Hotel for one of the Doctor conventions, I'm trying to remember who we met. But 
for the life of me right now, I can't remember who I actually met there. So anyway, that's okay. Again, it was 40 years ago. I, I mean, I do my best to try to remember things <laughs> four minutes ago. I can't remember what we had for dinner yesterday. Yeah, Come I know. On. All um, right. So anyway, don't okay. forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the next Jen and Joe on the go action because now we have Chicago videos to post. We have started posting the videos from our March trip. The first one published on Friday, April 24th. First, twenty second, whatever that Friday is in April. Um, today, yeah, it's whatever 22nd. today is. Oh, it's so 22nd. yeah, so if you're watching this, it's already published, so yeah. you know that we've started uploading from our March trip. So we have another trip coming up. So keep watching. We Sounds appreciate good. It. All right. Yes. All right. Thanks. Talk to you next time. Bye for now. Bye.